Here, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty. Here comes the bride. Here comes the bride. Teacher's pet. Teacher's pet. Enter the new millennium of fear. Goosebumps Series 2000 by R.L. Stein. Wherever books are sold. Get ready to be scared. Really scared. <laughs> Follow me to a place where creepy things crawl and monsters grow 60 feet tall! Oh, look how much fun they're having. <laughs> Goosebumps, live on stage, coming fall 1998. Jimmy, another big score. Slappy? Thanks, Jimmy. I'd like to say the same about you. I'd like to, except lying makes my nose grow. <laughs> <laughs> Your nose grows? Yeah, runs in the family. Almost killed my Uncle Pinocchio. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about this wonderful audience? What do you think of them? Phew. This is an audience? Yeesh. For a minute there, I thought we were working at the zoo. <laughs> Well, that's not very nice, Slappy. I think they're a fine-looking bunch of boys and girls. <laughs> mm. I said, I think they're a fine-looking group of boys and girls. Mm. Don't you think they're a fine-looking bunch of boys and girls? Huh? Mm -mm -mm. Are you kidding me? Last time I saw faces like these, they were hanging upside down in a fish market. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's sloppy. <laughs> so, what'd you think, Katie? Did you like the show? It was okay. Okay? I blew off a whole Saturday afternoon <laughs> for an okay. Hey, Katie, where's Mary Ellen? What? What's wrong? She's gone! Mary Ellen's gone! She was right here beside me, and now she's gone! 
fun. All right, don't panic. Maybe you just slept her back at your seat. No, you don't understand. Mary Ellen said if I ever let anything happen to her, she'd do something bad to me. Katie, Katie, relax, okay? I mean, it's just a dumb doll. She's got to be around here somewhere. I gotta find her. Katie! Uh, I'll see you outside. Nice try. You're gonna help me find her. You go that way and I'll go back there. <laughs> this day just keeps getting better and better, doesn't it? treated like a slave all the time. But you are my slave, Jimmy. You are. And you aren't ever gonna be anything but. <laughs> so let me give you some free advice, partner. When old Slappy tells you to do something, you better do it. <laughs> I didn't mean to bother you or anything. Um, uh, I wasn't looking. I was just. Uh, um. <laughs> How'd you like it? Excuse me. The new act. You heard it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I figured the show needed some spark, so I, uh, I, I've been working on this routine where Slappy and I fight and argue, and I put a radio-controlled motor inside him. I think it's going to be a big hit. I'm Jimmy O. James, and you are. Jillian. Jillian Zinman. It was an act? Is that uh, Jillian with a J or a G? Oh, I didn't come down for a picture. I'm actually looking for my little sister. You see, she lost her doll, and then she ran off to find it. Well, nobody's come by down here. What kind of doll was it? A big pain one. Say, wasn't he sitting different before? Listen, why don't you write your address in here, and if the cleaners find it, we can send it along later. How does that sound? Uh, I don't want to bother you or anything. Yes, no bother. No bother at all. She was wandering around at here. I wasn't wandering. Mary Ellen wanted to meet Slappy and she got lost. Dolls don't get lost, Katie. Mary Ellen did. Whatever. Let's just get out of here. Yeah. And this time, hold on to that stupid doll. ready. Just one more birdhouse and I beat the world record. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin, quiet. Come on, please. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, look at this. Special delivery for Jillian Zinman. Hey, what do you know? <laughs> Let's open it. Hey, Jillian, what's the matter? Don't you want to see what's inside? Kevin, quiet. Now, who would send you a doll? Dear Jillian, after meeting you today, I decided that you were the right person to take care of my old friend Slap. I'm starting a new act without him, so he needs a good home. Please take care of him and give him lots of love. Your friend, the amazing Jimmy O'James. <gasps> Katie, what are you doing down here? Mary Ellen is mad at you. Really? I'm shaking. She wants Slappy to stay upstairs in our bedroom with us. Well, it was my bedroom before it was our bedroom. And I think Slappy's creepy, so Slappy lives here. <laughs> Katie, get this thing off me! K Katie, help me! Mary get this thing off me! 
big help? I guess Slappy isn't happy. Must have been those radio controls the amazing Jimmy put inside him. That's what made him bite me. Mary Ellen says Slappy wants to stay upstairs too. Well, you know what, Katie? Mary Ellen talks too much. I know, it was Mary Ellen. Mary Ellen said it wasn't her fault either. She said Slappy didn't want to stay in the basement. Slappy wanted oh, to... Mary Ellen says this, Slappy wants that. I feel like I'm living in a psycho toy store. What are you going to do now? I'm gonna take this pile of wood back to the amazing Jimmy. You're making Mary Ellen angry. She likes Slappy. Girl, get out here now. Now what'd you do? Which one of you was in my jewelry box? Wasn't me. Me either. Oh, really? So what happened then? Did my wedding ring just get out of the box and walk away? Your wedding ring? Well, I'm going to be late for my aerobics class as it is. When you two finish cleaning that mirror, I want you to find that ring and put it in the box. Is that understood? And I haven't seen Kevin all day either. But when he shows up, make sure you take him out for a run. Bye. I'll be gone all day. See you tonight. I guess we're not getting rid of Slappy after all. Guess again. Slappy's rivals. He destroyed them. He destroyed them all. Wait a second. Are you telling me a dummy did all this? Slappy is not a dummy. He's... He's pure evil. Couldn't you just destroy him? You can't destroy the evil spirit within that dummy. So instead you send him to me? Don't you understand? Slappy forced me to write you that letter. Take that evil thing away! Get it out of here now! Look, I just spent half of my babysitting savings to get here in a cab, and I'm not leaving until you take this stuff. Ah! 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 What? <sighs> Very funny, young lady. It's no joke! If Kevin's here, then that means Slappy is... Oh, no! Are you getting scared? No, but I think I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> Zinman Residence.
accidents. Katie, listen to me. You have to get out of the house. Why? It's Slappy. He's still in the house. Only, he's not a dummy. Do you hear me, Katie? Slappy is evil. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but means will never hurt me. And I want my bride! <laughs> Why did you eat so much? Hey! Hey, hey, come on, Katie, let me out of here. Mary Ellen, where are you? <laughs> before Slappy finds us. Katie, Mary Ellen won't let me leave without her. Harrison, we're gonna get help, stay there. Where am I gonna go? <laughs> Let's go. Ha, 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 ha. 
it's over. I'm getting too old for dolls. thing I'm really worried about. Amazing Jimmy said Slappy Spirit couldn't be destroyed. So where do you think it is now? <sighs> it's just you. Well, thanks for the warm welcome. Is there something wrong, girls? No. <gasps> we forgot about Harrison. What's Harrison doing in our bathroom? It's kind of a long story. Trust me, young lady, you're going to have time. Harrison? Are you okay, Harrison? <laughs> Sorry, folks. Harrison doesn't live here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Robbery. You know we have nothing to eat? Yeah. Guess Mom forgot to go shopping. Let's go see what's in the freezer. I hate the basement. Come on. Maybe there's pizza in the freezer. I guess Dad forgot to change the light bulb. Again. Think of the good news. In the dark, you can't. See the spiders. Spiders? It's a basement. There are spiders. Ah! Get it off me! Oh, oh, I told ya. Oh, <laughs> I hate that. Uh oh. Let's get out of here. After we find something to eat. What was that? A huge tarantula, I bet. I'm out of here. Oh, John, here's your tarantula. Oh, no. What are you boys doing down there in the dark? Aunt Delia? Yes. Tommy, I remember when you were just this big. And now you're both so grown up and handsome. <laughs> I just know the girls are going to go crazy for you <laughs> when you're older. I'm so happy your mom and dad called me. We're going to have a wonderful time. Do you like to play cards? I like Flight of Terror. It's a virtual reality game. Oh, whatever. Well, you boys go and play while I whip us up a little something. Dad never wants to come over. Then how come she's babysitting us? Dad promised Mom a vacation before the new baby comes. I guess I couldn't find anyone else. 
at them while they're hot. No, sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. But these are fresh out of the oven. They're moving. Oh. Uh, what are they? My prize cookies. What kind are they? It's a family tradition. Your father loved them when he was your age. Go on, try one. Oh, uh, go ahead, Tom. You don't want to hurt my feelings, do you? Thank you. Mm. They're prunes. Prunes? They're good for you. No cookies, no supper. <laughs> hey, these are great. Yeah, delicious. Can I have another one? Of course, but I don't want you spoiling your appetites for supper. I've gone to a lot of work to make my special pork roast with prune sauce. Sounds great. Do you think Aunt Dahlia's weird? Maybe. But she is a good cook. Yeah, I didn't know I liked prunes. Yeah, me too. hear that? What do you think it is? It sounded like a witch. <laughs> Who was that? It's just Aunt Delia. You want to go see? Didn't you hear that? Yeah, so? What are you boys doing out of bed? Well, we heard noises. Yeah. Outside. Uh-huh. And thought we'd check. I'm sure it wasn't anything. What are you doing up here? I just wanted to check on you boys. Now get right back into bed. You need your beauty uh. sleep. <laughs> I don't want anyone to think I'm not taking good care of you. Good night. Time to get up, sleepyheads. I have a big day planned, not a moment to waste. I don't want a big day. It hurt all over. I'm staying in bed. Oh, my hip is sore. My back is killing me. Oh! Hand me the prunes. Oh, my back is killing me. Oh. I'm sure it's nothing serious. Maybe a touch of flu. How's John feeling? Morning, John. How are you? Pardon? How are you feeling? Flowers on the ceiling? There's nothing on the ceiling. What's for breakfast? My special prune waffles. Want a taste? What happened to your hair? Huh? I'll wear what I want to wear. What happened to you? When did your forehead get so big? Aunt Dahlia? I'm sure it's nothing serious. It's cute. It's not cute. I'm losing my hair. I think we should call Mom and Dad. Of course we should. Marge, darling, I don't mean to trouble you, but the boys think they're getting some gray hair. Gray 
Could it be that new shampoo? Of course. I told them it was nothing serious. I'll give them each a hug for you, and we'll spend a quiet afternoon indoors. I've invited some friends over. They want to meet you boys. <gasps> now, where are those two cute boys you've told us so much about? <laughs> The suspense is killing me. Uh, Tom, John, come on down here, please. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, my. Oh. Uh, <laughs> can you come a little closer so that we can get a good look at you? Don't be shy. Come meet Lillian and Mimi while I get the tea. I'm Lillian. Oh, you're so sweet. Well, and you're greening up nicely. Excuse me? Oh, oh I'm silly. Uh, growing up is what I meant. John, come and sit down. Ooh. Let's get to know each other. Mm. <laughs> I'm me, and I have a very nice retirement fund. Enough mm. for two. I'm afraid we're out of milk. Who wants to go to the store? I'll go. I'll go. Why don't you go, Tom? We can both go. Yeah. I don't mind going, too. No. I can't have you both leave at the same time. I need one of you here to entertain our guests. Hurry back, Tom. You don't want anything to happen to your brother while you're gone, do you? Yeah, Tom, hurry back. Be back before you know it. Oh, good. <laughs> I'll be counting the minutes. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, watch your step, sir. Sir? Who was that? What was I supposed to get? Oh, why can't I remember? Can I help you with something, sir? Um, yeah, um, milk. That's it. I need some milk. What's happening to my voice? Will that be all, sir? We have a special on antacid for senior <gasps> citizens. Senior citizens? Um, no thanks. Just some milk. Antacid? What's up with that? Why is everyone being so friendly? Hey, Bob, get the letter, okay? Oh, great. Oh, isn't he adorable? I've waited a long time for someone so nice. <laughs> Daria, you work miracles. Mm -hmm. Tommy's back. Hi. Let's take this out to the kitchen. I need to speak to John for a minute. Yeah, we need to talk. Oh, don't go. Lillian and Mimi need you to play bridge. Bridge? It's in the kitchen. Oh, <laughs> bridge, silly. It's a game. Oh, we don't know how to play. We'll teach you. Oh, we'll be right back. But I really need to speak to John in private. It's a guy thing. Oh, why didn't you say so? <laughs> Hurry back. We'll be waiting. It's like somebody cast a spell on us. Not someone. Our own aunt. We have to call mom and dad. Uh-huh. Um, don't, don't panic. John, are you all right? Tom, are you in there? We'll be right out. Uh... Hurry up. The girls want to play B. Don't you want to 
play with us? You weren't going anywhere, were you? Oh, no. Just getting some fresh air. The ladies are waiting. You're the dummy. So you don't get to play this hand. Oh. I always said you were the dummy. Oh, <laughs> it's a good thing, because I have to go to the bathroom. Again? Didn't you just go? Go? I haven't stopped. Maybe I'll find something to change the spell. And Lillian wants to marry Tom. We've got it all worked out. We're going to move to Miami and live next door to one another. The boys will never have to be apart. Nobody's getting married until you pay my fee. Then we'll talk. Oh, well, don't worry about that. They're so delicious. I'll write you a check right now. John, is that you? Are you all right? Fine, thanks. Where are you going? Into the kitchen to make snacks. You don't have to do that. I'll get it. Oh, no, you've done too much already. You visit with your friends while Tom and I go in the kitchen and do something for you. Tom, come on. Coming. <laughs> What's to eat? Forget that! We have to get out of here! Oh, I'm hungry. Oh! I hate being old. I can't eat anything. Listen, Mimi and Lily want to marry us! So? I fight it. We have to get out of here! I'm too tired. All I want is something Baby I can food? eat. What's that doing here? You know, Mom. She gets some weird cravings when she's pregnant. At least it won't hurt my teeth. What? We need a plan. Boys, Tom, this is John. What's taking so long? Ah, uh, good snacks take time. We have to think of some way to stall them. Hey, John, this baby food is pretty good. That must be the antidote. Give me some of that. We're coming in to help you. No, uh, that's all right. But we want to. We insist. Quick, lock the door. Uh -huh. Stop them from coming in. OK. No, you can't resist us. <clears throat> Don't even try. And then she'll feed us those prunes and make us old again. One, two. Mimi, grab the baby food. Oh, Lily, oh. stand by with the emergency fruit juice. Okay. Lily, help, help me. They'll be oh. old again in no time. No! Tom, catch! <laughs> Don't fight it, Tom. You know you love prunes. 
us. Never! We'll take good care of you boys, really. <laughs> <laughs> nice to have met you. We must be going. Yes, uh, we're late for bingo. Across town. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye, boys. Hello? Hi, Mom. Sorry to interrupt your vacation. How are you guys? Oh, we're fine. Really. How's your Aunt Dahlia? Aunt Dahlia's, um, showing us a good old time. You want to speak to John? Yeah, let me say hello. Sure. Hey, John, pick up. It's Mom. John? Oh, no. Um, listen, Mom, I I've got to go. There's a small problem I need to take care of. See you tonight? Great. Bye. Where did you find another jar of baby food? Oh, Johnny, a prune cookie. Come on. Mmm. Prune cookie. You like prunes. They're good for you. Delicious, too. Come on, John. Don't be such a baby. Thank mm -hmm. you.